Good morning, friends. I thought it would be fun to take you on a little tour of my, my property. Um, not a big tour, because I have almost 20 acres, but just my homestead where I live. This is my kitchen dome that we're working on. You can see that. It's where our goats are. This is our outside work table. Over there's our bathroom. This is the geodesic dome cabin that we live in. That's our woodworking dome. This is our wood pile that we've begun for the winter. <coughs> Excuse me. That's our duck. That's where our ducks hang out. And the reason why I wanted to show you these things is because I understand needs and <laughs> I'm wanting to have things happen, but that it doesn't always, uh, you know, that there can be gaps. So one of the things that I really Oh, love and appreciate about the Edward Art Supply hand series is that <clears throat> I can give myself myself exactly whatever it is that I want in the moment if it's material or if it's just to feel better um, I can give myself patience and calm and um, I can just sit in the knowingness that the unseen world has my back and that everything is working out beautifully for me because it hasn't um, and necessarily the last four years of my life uh, has, I wouldn't say it's been particularly easy at times. It's had a lot of challenges. Uh, my partner and I had a, a house fire in October of 2017, and we lost our, pretty much everything in our home. And so, m we had to, and with my youngest son, relocate to a, a nice little apartment, and then we found this property. I shouldn't say we found it. It's just, it just, everything fell into place. And um, I always had this feeling, because I've, I've always been into, oh, for probably about a decade, the law of attraction. So, it was a lot easier for me to flow with the change, but my partner, it, he struggled and had a very difficult time after the house fire, and, um, and also, well, we have uh, very diverging beliefs, which is fine, because the contrast help, has helped me grow. And him too, but um, but I wouldn't say it's easy or that I had a smile on my face <laughs> through a lot of it. Um, but typically, my natural um, set point and disposition is one of feeling optimistic and feeling happy. However, um, carrying stress. Um, holding on to negative stories, ruminating, those are also things that I have done. And I can say that the Law of Attraction helped a lot with that, but what really helped, what's really helped me find my balance and my footing is uh, the Edward Art Supply Series. and. So, if you're new to this channel, thank you for joining and listening. And you're going to hear me um, 
bring up Edward Art Supply Hands all the time because this is what is helping me so much um, in all, every aspect of my life. It's just been this huge part of how I can fill in the gaps. So why I wanted to make this video is to say homesteading is very challenging and there's a lot of things that can be outside of your control. It can be very overwhelming. Uh, my partner is an undiagnosed Asperger, which it doesn't really matter, but the, it does too. There's aspects of that that if you don't understand, you can make your life really hard and and you can be really miserable. And we were, both were for a while until we found some um, some really helpful videos to understand why our communications were going so horribly off the rails. <laughs> and I can laugh about it now, but uh, there's times when it, there was nothing to laugh about. So I, I say these things not because I'm trying to keep old stories alive, but because, you know, people come to these teachings, Neville Goddard, um, any, any thought leader that you listen to, and they have these real world, quote unquote, problems, real world issues and real world feelings that are weighing on them and they're a struggle and and it can be a lot to unpack um, just how to take a breath much less a step forward but if if I could recommend anything that has helped me take quantum leaps, and I know quantum means very small, but they weren't insignificant and they they had humongous ramifications in, in how I am perceiving and how I am functioning in my in my life right now, just in thinking and feeling, is to watch the Edward Art Supply Hand series on evolution it's there in the entirety go to reddit join the community read the posts and um, it's it's all there uh, so beautifully offered and um, <clears throat> and if it resonates with you if any of it is something that you're at all able to allow and receive because divine timing can be everything as well you will really begin to feel the difference it won't take that long you just have to um, you just have to you know just keep at it because the the gap between where you are and what you want will begin to get smaller and smaller. I, I'm, I'm a hundred percent certain that that is what will happen because <clears throat> I can say that from my own personal experience is that I know that the unseen world has my back and I know without a speck of doubt that I am loved and I am valuable in the scheme of things and that my life in the outer can be as beautiful as I want to make it in the inner. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm in, I'm in control of how I want my life to go.
And I know people can be very fond of saying, I'm not in control of that. And, um, and to take a, um, victim, um, attitude or, um, or blame or have, um, justified anger and resentment towards others, which, you know, Dwayne Dreyer, uh, Wayne Dreyer talks about that. There's no, there's no room for justification in your anger. Oh, there goes a butterfly. This little monarch up there. Just, hello, what are you doing? Just this little butterfly. It was so cold last night. Oh, yeah, there it is. Aw, oh, butterfly blessings for us. Oh, just right over us. So, Ah, uh, see, things like that. I just know <laughs> that the unseen world is just, it's, when you, when you, when your eyes begin to open and you start seeing what the, what the unseen world is trying to share with you, it melts away the resistance that gets built up over time from the narratives and the stories and the programs of the false self. Those are the things that make life in this world hard. This world is not anything but perfect, just the way it is. There's nothing to fix. And it's just like N Neville Goddard and Edward Art says, is that the only thing to change is the self. And you do that by giving yourself what you want. And so, the way that works is you allow yourself to have what you want. As soon as it arises, I just allow myself to have what I want. Oh, would I like to have my kitchen be functional and have an oven in it and 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 workspace and right now it's it's kind of a hot mess in there um yeah and if i came at it which i have in the past from the observable what is trying to figure out logistically what i can do with what i have and coming up you know with that sad story of I need money to do this and I need money to do that and all those things suck the joy right out of you and they leave you feeling powerless and like you don't know when the hell anything good is going to happen that you want and not only maybe that you want but that you you feel like you genuinely need you know uh, there's a lot of things that I can't do in this outer <laughs> observable what is at times because of the way things are currently. But in my imagination, in my inner world, I can give myself exactly what I want. I can walk into my kitchen and I can know how good it feels to have everything set up. I can have my art studio. I can have my writing studios. I can have, I, I have in my inner world, my property is a, just a lovely collection of hearts and souls who come here to play and to express themselves and to feel connected to their inner self. And um, if I were to just constantly focus on the outer, what is, the observable what is, it's so depressing. It's so exhausting and overwhelming. But now I know that everything I want is on, is inside of me. And that means that I don't have to figure out how to make it all happen. It's going to unfold perfectly in ways that I can't even begin to figure out. And I trust that. And so 
I, you know, I put my whole heart and, and soul and my belief and my knowing and my confidence in, to my inner self and to the unseen world because it's, it's not delusional to do that. It's, it's literally the, the most powerful thing I can do to merge with what I desire and to just know that it's done to that every wish that I've ever had pertaining to my homestead, my family life, my personal aspirations, that it's all, it's all here. It's already done. It's already created. And I'm just getting out of the way by focusing on my true self instead of on the narratives of the false self. So, um, yeah, this, that's really, you know, what I want to kind of touch upon for a little, a little while, because if you can't f effectively hang on to both things, uh, the false narrative, the narrative of the false self, and really be able to feel how good it is to um, receive what the true self is just ecstatic to put into the world for you. It, it, it's, you know, it's like um, Abraham Hicks says, you can't get there from, you can't get there from that place. Vibrationally speaking, we're all energy. If you don't feel like you can have it, you can't have it. And you're the only one denying yourself, yourself of having that. So <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't deny yourself. You're so precious and you're so loved and it, it works more wondrously than I can even really express. But even though my my life in the last four years has brought with it a lot of challenges, every single part of it, every single bit of of things that would maybe make other people just give up and and just kind of totally move in with their false self. It just pushed me further and further to um, find what I needed, what I knew my heart needed. I just couldn't give up on my heart. I couldn't give up on myself. And I have a family that I love. I have a life that I love. I genuinely love the... I love being alive. And I love all the little things that I'm interested in. But my son, Taryn, who crossed over two years ago, he, he has brought me so much um, from the other side just by knowing that death is just a doorway. You just, it's not the end of anything. It's, it's a beginning. If, if anything, it's the beginning of reality. It's, it's a true, it's your true home. And I couldn't give up if I, if I wanted to, because there's, you know, I just don't give up. <laughs> I'm just not one of those people that is willing to give up. And I'm so happy that I that I'm built that way because I have a lot of love and beauty to share and I'm sharing it with myself first that's how I know I'm building something incredible here with my inner, with my inner self and as a result I'm happy I'm feeling satisfied 
And I know that everything I do is going to find its way and work out perfectly. And I don't have to plan it. I don't have to stress and struggle about it. Virgin, that's the name of my property, Lee Virgin. Lee Virgin is already created in all the different aspects that are a part of this land. It, it's, it's already created. And if you could see the vision that I hold for this property, and you will one day when the unseen merges with the scene, you will, I think, be amazed by everything that, that develops here. So, um, <clears throat> this, this is a little longer than I meant it to be. I'm trying to get better at making shorter <laughs> videos, but this is to say that your focus and what you give your attention to is of paramount importance. You can give all of your attention to the false, narr false self narrative and you can be miserable. And you can do all that adulting. Uh, it's your choice. You get to do that. And it, there's no judgment. Y you'll suffer, but it, it, will, it will help you, uh, usually. To, and to, to maybe less suffering. Not always, but sometimes, I guess. Um, it led me to less suffering because I'm very determined to um, to do this the way that my heart leads me and <clears throat> I have the heart of a, a child I have the heart of one who believes and my heart is everyone's heart so I know that there's nothing wrong with this world this world is perfect and beautiful just the way it is even if my son is on the other side in the unseen world he's still just as viable and just as vibrant. And the only thing stopping you from experiencing what you want is your focus and what you're giving your attention to. Just try not to stay too long in those false narratives. And let let yourself, your true self, move mountains for you. <laughs> it's not naive to think that it's possible. Anything is possible. Just imagine it and see what happens. So we'll, we'll explore more of this and talk more about this. But I just really wanted to get this video out today because it's, it, was, it was very chilly last night. It was such a beautiful day today. <laughs> we got visited by a little lone monarch butterfly. And right after that, a little, just a mini murmuration of small birds flew by. And I just... I have so much, I'm giving all of that to my inner self, and my inner self just gives it right back to me. Today, I'm going to give my inner self all manners of yummy food, and, <laughs> and I'm going to express myself and write, and I have a story to tell about my son, Taryn, and about my life in general and 
and how um, and how this world is perfect just the way it is if you've made it this far thank you for listening I appreciate you I'm I'm so excited for this this new journey that I'm on and that wherever it takes me it's going to be exactly what I want it to be and or you know more or better than I can imagine I'm excited to hear about your stories and what you're creating in your life and what you're giving to yourself and how you're expressing yourself I hope your day is absolutely beautiful. Take care until we talk again.